بالله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يهده فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله محمد لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وحاجه قومه قال أتحاجني في الله وقد هدان ولا أخاف ما تشركون به إلا أن يشاء ربي شيئا وسع ربي كل شيء علما أفلا تتذكرون الحمد لله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله today we will continue سورة الأنعام in my previous lecture I was talking about from سورة الأنبياء because the ayats are related with Surah Al-An'am and the same story the story is the debate between Ibrahim والسلام, and his nation and also his father so in Surah Al-An'am we see that Ibrahim السلام, was searching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the stars firstly and secondly when he says that there is no more star in the day then again he searching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through moon again when moon is, is disappear then he think the sh sun that is shams and he think that it is more powerful so it could be the greatest one but when the sun also vanish that time he said, Inni wajjahtu wajhiya lilladhi fatara samawati wal arda hanifa wa ma ana minal mushrikeen. Ibrahim alayhi salam said, Inni wajjahtu wajhiya lilladhi. I have indeed turned my face straight towards the one who created heavens and the earth and I am not one of those who associate partners with Allah. That means, why Ibrahim السلام, didn't recognize those stars, moons, and sun as a lord? Because that time, all the people were thinking, these things has some power. They are controlling our fate, our risk, our life, our hayat and mouth. They are controlling. They are worshipping these things. But why not Ibrahim السلام, don't take this as it is? Because he is thinking, since these are not always as it is, that means someone is controlling this. This is his intellect. That's why he is our father. Father of the nation. Millata Abigum Ibrahim. Huwa sammakumul muslimin. He gave us this name Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned. So Ibrahim alayhi salam has a very good knowledge. Allah gave him this knowledge. Allah gave him this knowledge, this pure knowledge. So he thinks that these things are not my Lord. And this is how he also tried to prove his nations. See these things you are worshipping. They are not always as the same. So how could this, my Lord? So last one, he said, Inni wajjahtu wajhiya lilladhi fatras samawad. I am facing my face towards who is created this heavens and earth. Subhanallah. That means all these things has a control. As someone who is controlling everything. So that is my Lord. Though I don't know where he is, but he is my Lord. And why 
uh, he used the face. Why the Quran says face? Because face, this part is the main identity of a person. If you see any identity card, there is nothing body part, just the face. That's why it is the center point. Inni wajjah tu wajhiya. Wajhi, wajhun means face. Inni wajjah tu wajhiya lilladhi fatara samawati wal ard. Hanifa. Hanifa. Hanifa means sincerely. I'm worshipping to the one sincerely without not associating anyone when I am worshipping. Worshipping him. Wama ana min al mushrikin. The explanation of Hanifa is Wama ana min al mushrikin. I am not among those who associate with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Hanifa means sincerely, without any association. And next ayat, eighty. Wahad jahu qawmuhu. Now. And in Ambiya, Surah Al Ambiya, we have seen that Ibrahim alayhi salam broke that all the statues and then the incidents we covered there. And now these people are coming to argue with him. Wahad jahu qawmu. His people disputed with him. Qala atu hajjuni fi Allahi wa qad hadan. He said, Do you dispute with me concerning Allah? While he has guided me, Subhanallah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has guided us. Alhamdulillah. With great ni'mah. Every day, every moment, we have to shukr Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Isn't it? Subhanallah. Wa hajjahu qawmu qal atu hajjuni fi Allahi wa qad hadan. He guided me. ولا أخاف ما تشكون به. I fear not those whom you associate with him. I don't care about these things in worship. إلا أن يشاء ربي شيئا. Nothing can happen to me except when my Lord wills something. If anything happened to me, it is not because your idols curse me. If anything wrong with me, that means my Lord wish. This is my Lord, not your idols. My Lord comprehend. Wasi'a Rabbi kulla shay'in ilma. This is kind of aqidah. Wasi'a Rabbi kulla shay'in ilma. We know that Allah is everywhere. Aynama kuntu. Wherever you are, Allah is there. Somebody said, itself Allah is there. But the thing is, وَسِعَ رَبِّ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ عِلْمًا Everywhere the knowledge Allah has. <coughs> Allah is not in the toilet, in the everywhere. But the knowledge, what happened in the toilet, Allah has the knowledge. وَسِعَ رَبِّ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ عِلْمًا أَفَلَا تَتَذَكَّرُونَ Would you then take no lesson? Would you not take any lesson? Next time. Wa kaifa khaf ma shaktum. Again, he is arguing with reasoning, with reasons. Wa kaifa khaf ma shaktum wa la taqafuna anna kum shaktum billahi ma la minazil bihi alaykum sultan. And how should I fear those whom you associate in worship with Allah, though they can neither benefit nor harm while you fear not that you have joined in worship with Allah. That means you are uh, frightening me that I am not worshipping your idols but I am worshipping someone who has created everything and you are doing something wrong. My worshipping is not wrong it is correct you are doing wrong you have to be feared not me <coughs> because whether whatever you are worshiping idols you don't have any valid reasons you cannot show any proof <coughs> that i am worshiping these gods these idols 
I have proof. No, you don't have. That why you have to be fright. You have to fear. I don't have any fear about these things. فَأَيُّ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said فَأَيُّ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ أَحَقُّ بِالْأَمْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ So, which of the two parties Look at Which of the two parties Is there two parties? Because there is one person Is Ibrahim alayhi salam And the other one is Whole nations But Allah said two parties that means Ibrahim is itself a party. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Ibrahim kana ummatan. Ibrahim is itself a ummah. One man army. Subhanallah. Fa'ayyul fariqayni ahaktu bil am. Which of the two parties has more right to be security? If you but know. That means, who is secured? Ibrahim or the other nations? Think. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala secured our activities. Because every activities, good deeds we do, it is secured. That means it is stored. It will not go vain. Every activities we have done, Allah will give us ajr will be rewarded because every activities has two dimensions one is rewarded another is punishment so who is party is executed that means Ibrahim is secured in this dunya and also in the akhirah so, and we are the, our father is Ibrahim and we are the son as Milla inshallah we will be secured in this dunya and also in the Akhirah. Next ayah. Al-Ladheena amanu wa lam yalbisu imanahum bi zulmin ulaika lahumul amnu wa hum muhtadun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the ayat 82. It is those who believe in oneness of Allah and worship none but Him alone and confuse not their belief with zulm. That means wrong by worshipping other besides Allah. For them only there is security and they are the guided. Those who are guided. Those who don't mix their iman with shirk. Those who believe and walam yalbisu and not mix imanahum. Their iman bizulmin zulm. Wrong. Ulaika lahumul am. They are secured. Wahum muhtadun. They are guided. When this ayat uh, revealed, though that, that time Sahaba become very afraid. Because every now and then we are making mistakes. We are doing something wrong. And Allah said, Alladina Amun Walam Yalbisu, they don't mix. So what will happen to us? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed another ayat. Inna shirka la zulmun azim. What is the meaning of zulm? The zulm is shirk. Those who believe in Allah and do not mix their iman with shirk, they are secured. They are guided. May Allah give us tawfiq to do good activities without associating anything without shirk. Uh, shirk. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم لسائر المسلمين فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته